Hi YouTube, what's up? How's it going? Uh, well, here I am with another video. I was thinking a lot what should I do next and I came up with the idea of top uh, sexy, top 20 sexiest designers for men uh, and how uh, did I get this idea? Well, uh, somebody actually asked me if I prefer a Dissimon Blanche or Spice Bomb uh, on a man, which do I find uh, to be sexier? And then I actually was surprised by my own answer because uh, when, I, um, when I'm thinking about the quality of the fragrance and about, even about the scent is itself, I prefer a Dissimon Blanche, uh, although I'm I like both. Uh, I love actually both, but uh, I just somehow, uh, although I prefer the quality of Edition Blanche and even the self, uh, the the scent itself uh, of it over Spice Bomb, I somehow find um, Spice Bomb sexier. So I just decided to do the list uh, of fragrances uh, when thinking only about the, that uh, sexy aspect of them, not uh, anything else, not so much about the quality or whatever. Uh, and uh, first I th thought about doing top 10, oh, actually I got a suggestion of, uh, about doing top 10, only not 20, but I kind of feel bad uh, about uh, leaving all those great fragrances out, so I just decided to do top 20. If you guys will like the idea, I will do a niche list in the future too. So how this list will work, uh, first of all it is very subjective, it's not objective at all, uh, it is only from my point of view of course and actually I see women, uh, uh, especially those who are not so into fragrances, preferring clean and fresh fragrances on men, aquatics for example, but uh, I'm totally opposite, I prefer spicy, warm, sweet, gourmands. Uh, and uh, my list will contain mostly the, the, these kind of fragrances, but there are a few exceptions which enter the list, although they are uh, fresh and clean and uh, which I find uh, extremely sexy too. So how this list will work, I will just name the fragrance and uh, give you, uh, tell you a sentence or two uh, about what I think, what makes them so sexy. So, okay, we can start uh, at my number. Uh, 20 is Dolce & Gabbana the one. Uh, I wish it had a better quality, but uh, that uh, wonderful uh, warm tobacco dry down and uh, and orange flower in the middle, which gives it kind of a tropical vibe, makes it uh, makes the fragrance very sexy in my eyes. Uh, 19 is 1 million, yeah I know, the victim of its own popularity, everybody wears it, but uh, um, that wonderful leathery uh, dry down and cinnamon does it for me, so I like it. Uh, number 18 is Armani's coat, I like this one, it actually it is worn very often by men in my area, but I don't mind because it is very well done and uh, that uh, leathery tonka dry down is yummy. Uh, number 17 uh, is my first exception, so f a, f a fresh fragrance, Alurum Sport, and which, what makes it sexy, I think it is the creamy uh, citrusy vibe and tonka in the, in the dry down. Um, it is fresh and at the same time somehow warm, so I love that about this fragrance. 16 is just the, leg, the regular Alurome and uh, what makes it sexy is uh, that uh, Tonka is a dry down mixed with so many different ingredients. Uh, I get hints of fruits, hints of coconut, uh, spices and uh, mixed all together makes it very very interesting and seductive. Attract, uh, um, yeah, very nice. Fifth, number 15 is Dolce & Gabbana's uh, Pour Homme and it is very gentle, many, uh, a bit mature fragrance with uh, again uh, that wonderful tobacco and spicy dry down which I love. Number 14 is um, a fragrance that in my opinion shares the vibe with Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Homme and it is Carolina Herrera CH for men 
and what makes it so sexy is definitely very sweet vanilla and leathery dry down extremely extremely smooth and I love it number 13 is diesel fuel for life and uh, what is so yummy about that one is that wonderful sweet raspberry note on the woodsy um, base and uh, it is, I think it is especially um, good for younger guys, so yeah, it is sweet and also somehow juicy but uh, woodsy at the same time, very quality stuff too. Number 12 is uh, Lolita Lempicas au Masculine, there are vanilla notes, proline notes, uh, what else is there? A rum note. So what is there not to like and not to be considered sexy? Everything about this fragrance is sexy. Uh, number 11 is uh, Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lombe, but the EDP version, I actually prefer that one over the EDT version. Everybody's talking about EDT. I prefer EDP just because it is uh, a bit darker, uh, fruitier, and I like it much more than EDT version. Number 10 is a fragrance that doesn't get a lot of attention in the community, and I really think it should because it, because it, it maybe it isn't the most unique fragrance in the world, but it is very well done, very well blended, and it is Tom Ford for men. I still haven't tried, unfortunately, the extreme version, I have to do it, but uh, the regular version is all great, also. It is um, Again, it has that wonderful warm tobacco uh, dry down with uh, quite masculine vibe and that's why I love it. Uh, number 9 is Armani Attitude and what makes this one sexy in my eyes is that very unusual combination of lemon, coffee and what else? Lemon, coffee and lavender. Uh, yeah, it opens up with lemon and very soon the coffee comes into play and it just makes that very interesting uh, kind of a combination that grabs attention. It is also at the same time very masculine in my eyes and yeah, yummy too. Uh, number uh, 8 is Pure Malt. Uh, out of the Mugler line I just find Pure Malt uh, the sexiest. I you uh, pref usually prefer pure Hawan over pure malt uh, because of the quality and so on but now when we are talking only about the sexy uh, aspect of the fragrance I definitely prefer pure malt over all the other from the Mugler line and what makes it sexy is definitely that malt note and uh, some fruits in the opening. I love that part of the fragrance. Number seven is another fresh fragrance, uh, which I find very, very seductive, very interesting, um, also quite um, masculine, but uh, in a good way, and it is Bulgari's Aqua, and I love uh, how it presents the uh, smell of the sea. Uh, here in Croatia, when you drive from the uh, continental part where I live to the coast and when you first uh, uh, when you first uh, go out of the, your car when arriving to the destination at the coast it uh, just you get all that burst of uh, the sea and uh, uh, cedarwood pine and that's what I get with this Bulgari aqua so that's why I love it um, Number six is another one that doesn't get enough attention in my eyes, and it is uh, Yves Saint Laurent's Body Chorus. Kind of shame, uh, shares a vibe with um, Lolita Limpica, but uh, without that uh, heavy licorice and rum vanilla note, uh, it opens up a bit fresher than uh, Lolita with that uh, eucalyptus note and uh, incense and benzoin in the dry down. And in my eyes, one of the sexiest fragrances. May, ever made. And number five, for the one and only Lamal, uh, there is just something about it that does it for me and uh, yeah, very popular and synthetic and whatever, but just there is something that, uh, that I find very, very um, seductive about it. Uh, number four is uh, Givenchy's Plain Tense, uh, my favorite coffee smell. Uh, 
for now. I prefer it over Ro over Rochamen, over uh, even over New Harlem, and uh, I love New York for all. Uh, it's just the best coffee note uh, in my eyes, and I love that vibe of coffee plus cotton candy, and uh, very very. It is very. Um, it grabs attention, for sure. It is uh, number three, it is another fresh fragrance and it is Chanel's Platinum Egoist and uh, what makes it so sexy, yeah, it is fresh and clean and I usually don't find that too sexy but uh, very pleasant and nice smelling, yes, but not sexy and in this case I just love how the flowers are done in a very masculine way uh, and um, yeah, I, I love to smell this one on men. Uh, uh, luckily, my brother is purchasing a full bottle very soon, so I'll do a review about that one very soon too. Number two is Your Home Intense, uh, my favorite uh, designer uh, of all time, uh, wonderful iris and vanilla combo. Uh, but um, there is uh, one sexier fragrance uh, which, which I would rather smell on men than your own intense and that is Lenstante Guerlain Extreme and uh, that just a very interesting uh, combination of citrusy opening with lots of cocoa and tea and uh, very masculine like and gentleman like and mature and Fun, everything in one fragrance. I get everything in this fragrance. It, I love to smell it on men. I think it is the sexiest, sexiest designer ever. So, guys, that was my list. Please let me know. I, I'm very interested in what, which fragrances from the list you own, and do you get compliments when wearing them? Um, Thank you for watching, I will do another video very soon and I hope you enjoyed uh, this list. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe and see you soon. Bye.